today we are going to discuss the topic is how to generate a json string with the help of map in apex and how to deserialize or parse json string with the help of map let's start how to do this okay these are the two topics we are going to discuss json generation with map json parsing or deserializing with map it's a simple example and before we are going to start this if you don't have any idea about json i suggest please go to the basics of our json then come back to this video okay, then only you can understand now i am taking this json string for generation okay for example i want to generate the same kind of json string with the help of map how i can generate this is what we are going to discuss okay here to generate this json string we just need to prepare a map in this parenthesis simply so here string object object it can be any type it can be string it can be boolean it can be date it can be map it can be other thing okay anyway now i am preparing a map for generating the json string so first thing is as you uh, i am i am assuming you know json okay json in json everything is key value okay if you observe here you have account object under account object you have address also there how you can generate this kind of json string with the help of map see here i am going to declare this map simply let me go to developer console and under it will be anonymous if you don't know it will be here and here and then you have mailing city last name after that you have object called account right so how you can do this simply i'm declaring one more map json account map and another thing is i have address map simply i'm using another map json account address map shipping street shipping city and then address okay so if you observe here i prepared account map and address map after that to account map i am adding address map because child address is a child of this value and account is child of this value right how okay. you can add simply into json gen account json gen map to that you have you are giving the key as account and json account map then it comes under this you have this with the help of once you have prepared everything like this then how you can generate a json string from here simply you have oh, okay you have a method called serialize method json dot serialize just pass this one and let's try to now you can see that json string so let's copy this and you can validate this json and whether it is correct or not with the help of json link map from ui see here you can see first name last name mailing city and account like this don't worry about uh, the attribute position okay our property position it can be anywhere correct structure should be same okay if you observe the structure uh, here and here both are same this is how you can generate json string with the help of map now how you can parse or deserialize the json what is parse or json uh, deserialization here when you want to get the values of specific property from the json string okay in uh, apex then how you can do that with the help of map let's see how we can do it. i already prepared the same json string in the form of json string format see here last name and first name and account name and address everything is same now how i can get the values of specific property under this json string so simply do this 
and if you have j constraint then how can you get a first name so first name here is tech so let's see let me execute here the parser map first of all we have to declare a map parser and type casting from and json dot deserialize untype and pass the json to here that's it simply it is going to give you a value from the first name now it's okay now how if you want to get the value under the address okay for example i want to get the shipping street under the address how you can get it okay this is what and or otherwise i want to get the name under the account also how you can get it okay now see here simply again you don't need to do anything first thing is string object parser sap map Equals same syntax here, but from parser map you are going to get. So what is this account? Okay. So now let me display this uh, this map. How it looks like? Then you can understand. So I am just doing map preparation properly. Then it is easy and equivalent to parse and deserialize. You just need to know what is returning and what is uh, what you have to do for that. So if you observe here, debug block, see account map, address, and name. From this, what I want to get name. Okay. So let me get the name from here. account name what to do here okay so whatever you are getting uh, with the help of get method here so it is going to return as an object if you want to assign these values to your uh, object a field what you have to do you have to convert these things into the specific record type it may be a string it may be a boolean it may be data type okay you have to decide this for which kind of field you want to assign this value okay based on your request here name is string only now you are going to get the account okay so under account you have address right under address i want to get the shipping street value how you can get it simply now if you observe this address is a key simply in account map. I am going to do that as well. See, again I am going to create another map address parser map and here map of string from object and then so from parser account map dot get of address. Under that, I will I can get shipping string. So what is the key here? Okay. From address parser. Let's see. Okay, this is how you can parse a deserialize a JSON string with the help of map. It's very easy when you use a map. Okay, you have other ways also to generate JSON and to deserialize or parse the JSON in different ways. You can use an Apex class. You have uh, other JSON methods for uh, generating a uh, JSON string. Okay, but now what we discussed as part of this session, how to 
generate a JSON string with the help of map in effect and how to deserialize the same JSON string with the help of 